others that you have some difficult and distressing habit, like drinking too much. And uh, you're assured that once you've become the victim of this habit, it's an extraordinarily difficult thing to get rid of it, and it requires intense willpower. And so that kills you right off. You're a dead duck from then on. It's as if you see you had said to the devil one morning, look, I'm going to get rid of you. I'm not going to have anything to do with you anymore. So the devil, who is an archangel and is terribly clever, is all set for you. And because he knows that you are getting out of his way, he surrounds you with greater temptations than you ever imagined. If you are going to outwit the devil, it's terribly important that you don't give him any advance notice. <laughs>
Bad followers that. I do have diabetes. It's the best excuse on earth. A couple of years ago, I tried to get it of jury duty, right? The judge asked me, is there any reason you can't be on this jury? I don't know what the fuck came over me, but I just looked at him and I was just like, well, Your Honor, it has recently come to my attention that despite only having 5% of the world's population, the United States has 25% of the incarcerated inmates, many of whom are nonviolent drug offenders. And a disproportionate percentage of our population are African American and Latino males. But regardless of race, if you're in prison before you went in there, you were probably poor. So if you were to look at it from a distance, this courthouse doesn't feel like a place of justice. This is beginning to a system that is an unintended yet extremely effective internment camp for undesirables. And I think that you and that everybody that works here should be fucking ashamed of yourselves. Also, I have a dentist appointment tomorrow. I do have diabetes.